Hey, what is going on there, soon-to-be spooky gamers? This is Squirrely. Thank you so much for joining me, as always. So this is a follow-up video, because a lot of people are asking me, so hey, now that we know that Scream Fortress is coming up pretty soon, it's going to be October right around the corner, and the update could come out as early as October 1st, like, what's going to be in it? And I've done a couple of these videos in the past, doing my predictions, and for some reason, I guess I'm just lucky, I've been really accurate a couple of times, like, really accurate, uh, and talking about maps that are going to get added, or just uh, things that will or will not get added, and so I figured people are asking for it, I might as well do another prediction video, because I think I have a pretty good idea of what we're going to get, but then also, this year might be a little bit different. I'm going to go over that as well. So let's get into it. My predictions for what will be and what will not be in Scream Fortress 13 for this year, 2021. So we have a lot to get to, but the first question, of course, is when exactly is the update going to come out? And I'll give you guys my best guess. And like I said, I've been pretty accurate with this in the past. So it's going to come out in October, of course, pretty much guaranteed of that, hopefully. Uh, but if the previous years have told us anything, they typically release this in the middle of the month or sometimes way at the end of the month. However, last year they released it on October 1st, the very first day of the month of October. And I think that was for a couple different reasons. You know, they wanted to start off, you know, make a good impact early in the month, have the update go through actual October instead of blending into, you know, like the end of November. And then also, I think in general, we've had such a negative year, the bot crisis and cheaters, uh, you know, being stuck at home, the lockdowns, no major updates. Like, there's still a lot of negativity around TF2 in general. So that's a way for them to say, hey, look, the update is early, update is good, go play it, have fun, don't worry about it. And also kind of gives us a break before we move into the end of the year. For Smithsmith. So in my opinion, not only do I think it'll come out early again, I do think it has a very high chance of coming out on October 1st or October 8th. And I'm hoping it comes out on one of those days. Those are both Fridays because that would be Friday the 13th. Uh, it could come out on any other Friday. There's three other Fridays in the month uh, of October. It could come out, but I think if they're going to be ahead of schedule or on time uh, technically, then it'll be the 1st or the 8th. I strongly believe it could be the 1st because it was last year as well. So the other thing to think about is that that Friday the 13th is something that Valve, there's no way they're going to completely miss that. It just depends on if they're going to care to mention it or make a theme around it or do anything with it. They might be aware of it and say, yeah, who cares? But 13 years of Scream Fortress is actually a big deal. And if you know Friday the 13th, you know you guys can all get your masks ready. I think it's called the Face of Mercy uh, for Pyro. Get those out. Get your axes ready because you can put on the whole, you know, scary Jason setup. But that's a theme that I think they should definitely milk or at least mention it somewhere. And that would be really, really cool if they kind of pair those up together to make it more of a fun theme. But I think it's going to come out very early, you know, maybe on the 8th, but hopefully, hopefully on the 1st of October. Keep that tradition going. Early Screen Fortress, first day of the month would be awesome. Now let's kick things off with what will probably be in the update, my suspicion, looking at previous years and just kind of my gut instinct, because there's a lot of different things that are typically in it, but don't have to be in it. But the first thing that we'll probably get, almost guaranteed, is the following new cosmetics, which means new cases and new keys, new unusuals, which will be for hat and probably also taunts as well, and then also maybe we will continue to get new war paints. So unusual hats, uh, definitely guaranteed. Taunts, not guaranteed, but typically they also come out together. And then the cosmetic cases are almost you know, guaranteed as well because they're all made by the community, like almost all of them. So it's super easy for Val just flick a switch and, you know, look at all the community items and go through there. Luckily, we have a fantastic community of artists and developers and modelers and animators and people that honestly keep this train going. Without them, the updates would just be so shallow and empty. It would be a huge disaster. But getting, you know, guaranteeing that we get new hats and new items and new taunts and, you know, silly loadouts that we can make now and new animal heads or whatever it is, is so much fun. And to know that's from the community and they get some money back, even if it's a little bit, is it is really really cool i i really respect that so look at any uh youtuber i'm sure there's a bunch of videos now about halloween items on the workshop you can look through the unusuals for the hats that typically come out are really expensive they're really high tier or at least you know higher than average and if we get something that's really flashy and it's on like a multi-class hat that looks cool or an all-class hat you can guarantee that will be super expensive and typically the halloween unusuals especially the old ones you know look back at 2015 and 14 crazy expensive people love to mix them together but typically during Halloween, these specific effects that come out, are just they have a different kind of energy, different color scheme. They're just usually more powerful and bright and just popular in general. So if you're going to unbox and you want to do some, it's probably the best time of year. Like I typically don't unbox during at all. <laughs> Once in a while, I'll just do it a little bit to donate you know, to Valve and say thanks for the update. Let's see if I get anything. But during Halloween, it's probably the smartest time of year to unbox because if you get something, it's probably going to be worth something more than your typical unbox. And then definitely you might get lucky and strike gold and get like a really, really high tier uh, unusual taunt or a hat in particular. So if you're going to do any unboxing, it's a great time of year to do it. And I love jumping in servers and seeing all the new stuff and new loadouts and color schemes and the new unusuals and cosmetics is super, super fun. 
We can probably also expect to get new war paints. Now this one's not as much of a guarantee as the other ones. Uh, war paints are sometimes hit and miss, but they have been pretty consistent in the past years with releasing new war paints with whatever update we get. And uh, once again, it's because it's so easy. The community makes all of them. So an artist, uh, you know, a handful of artists will make some of them and they just throw them in there. Now, what I'm hoping that they don't do is just kind of throw a big mixture, a hodgepodge together that doesn't really fit the theme at all. But I also don't want the theme to be so strong that every single war paint is like, you know, easily to tell it's Halloween. And if you wear it outside of Halloween, it just it just feels weird. It doesn't match. I like the effects that, excuse me, the war paints that look really cool. And maybe a couple of them have some really strong Halloween themes, but it doesn't need to be the whole batch. As long as there's one or two that kind of pop out as like, these are really, really nice, then, that, then I'll be happy with it. But typically during Halloween, we get some really kind of, I guess, different kind of war paints that are so specific to Halloween that they look cool during the time. But if you ever play TF2 outside of it and you don't have like a full loadout or playing a Halloween map, I know, it just isn't the same, and people don't typically buy them or wear them as much. But almost guaranteed we're going to get war paints, so good luck to those unboxing war paints. Maybe there'll be some new high tier ones. Uh, maybe we'll get some new unusuals on those as well. You never know, but I want to see the new war paints because it's been a while since, since we've had some, uh, some really, really cool new ones. And last thing on the list, which is also not guaranteed and probably has a lower chance than the others of being released, but I still think it has a pretty high chance of coming out in the update, and that is more Halloween-themed maps. Now, the map doesn't have to be a completely new reskin, a brand new map made from scratch. Uh, typically, what they've been doing the last couple of years is just doing reskins of other popular maps, and I actually kind of called it, I think it was two years ago or three years ago or so, I said it'd be perfect if they had like an Upward or a Bad Water reskin, and they came out. Like, that's exactly what happened. I was like, this is awesome. Now, hopefully they're not all full of bosses and you're waiting forever to do stuff, just a regular reskin of the map on an already popular map is tons of fun and I do think we have a good chance of that happening again because there's lots of Halloween versions of maps that have already been made so they just have to go through them, play test them a little bit, check for bugs, whatever, and release them and then they're good to go and we have another map that we can play and enjoy during Halloween. I think Dust Bowl is a great candidate, super popular, it's been out forever, there's tons of versions of it, uh, maybe Powerhouse and some other ones you guys can probably think of that would be really really fun maps that you already enjoy but just to be able to play that map during Scream Fortress would be awesome so I hope they continue that. I think there's a high chance, maybe 70 or 80% chance that they also release new maps with that as well. So let's see how that goes. Now moving into the things that I do not think will be in the update, unfortunately, uh, one in particular that everyone seems to ask me every single year is spells. And I think people like to ask me because I was like the spell guy for a long time, you know, collected and traded thousands of spells and I, I just knew all of them, where they looked and how to find the good deals. And it's been wild to see the spell market just go crazy, skyrocket in price. So for me, I don't have that many spelled items left, unfortunately, I sold them all for a profit, uh, but I still look now and then to kind of check them out and they are expensive. But anyways, spells, Probably not coming back for a couple of different reasons. Unfortunately, Valve just does not have a good uh, history of releasing things again. They like to do something cool, put some energy into it, and then they just kind of forget about it. Think about all the maps and MVM stuff and just things that have come out in the previous past that was cool. And then you're like, when are they going to fix this? Or when are they going to update that? Or, or bring this back again or release this again? And just nothing. Never, ever comes back again, ever. <laughs> so I think, unfortunately, that's going to be the deal with spells. Although our only hope is that... It's so easy to bring back. They don't have to change anything. Do not make any new colors or whatever or make new spells. That's too much effort. I understand it, Valve. Just literally bring back the old maps. They could just flip a switch and now they're back in circulation. They pop up on the maps like Gargoyles or whatever. However they want to do it is fine. But I do not think they're going to bring back spells, unfortunately. They also do, you know, consider the market uh, and people will be upset with trading prices and stuff like that. Although it'll be a net positive for sure to bring them back because there's so many new items, weapons, hats, unusuals that none of none of them are spelled at all. It's like this ancient thing now that's slowly dying out more as, you know, people stop trading or cash out or quit or just stop loading into the Steam profile. These spells are just continuing to disappear more and more over time, which is unfortunate. So super easy for them to bring it back but I do not see them bringing it back unless they get really desperate and they're just low in content. That's when I think they'll bring back an update for spells or release them again, but I just don't see that happening this year, unfortunately, and I hope that I'm wrong because it would be awesome if they did. Another interesting question is the Halloween restricted items, and will they fix this or update this, I should say, to be not restricted so you can wear them any time of year? Now, I can understand people's uh, question with this saying there's a lot of items that look like they should be for Halloween only that are not. So, like, what's the rule here? Like, well, it's kind of hypocritical that this hat is restricted and this hat is not when it clearly should be the other way or neither. <laughs> so, I can understand people and why they have this perspective, but I don't think they're going to do that as well. I kind of think they like the idea of certain things only come out on Halloween and you can only wear them during Halloween. They kind of like that aspect of certain things are locked in categories. So unfortunately, I don't think it's going to come out. I would love that it did uh, where they fix us that things are not restricted to Halloween, but probably not going to happen. 
So wrapping up the list of things I do not think will be in the update, unfortunately, the number one is going to be weapons. I don't think there's going to be any new weapons per se, uh, because if we did, it'd kind of be a big deal and people would be really hyped about that. So if they did that, it'd probably be part of a separate update or a larger update. And that would be the whole focus of, you know, new weapons for these characters and new play styles and things like that. So I don't think it's going to be part of Scream Fortress because it's not really the theme of the whole thing. Um, and also new unusuals for uh, war paints or weapons in general, I don't think it's going to come out, although that would be very easy to do as well. I think that has a much higher chance of some of these other items I've listed because all they have to do, same thing, look on the workshop, maybe just pick two, even just two new unusual effects for weapons would be awesome because we're stuck with three right now. Think about pretty much everything else in TF2, there's a ton of variety, but for unusual weapons, we got three pretty much, only three that can be unboxed, which is kind of a bummer. So hopefully they, you know, they surprise us and they release two or three, that would be great. I think having like 10 unusual weapons, like would be a good number, like eight to 10. Right now we're at four, technically three can be unboxed, like I said, but I don't foresee that happening as well. And another thing I think they could release, just put it in MVM, uh, would be easy to do, would also be adding new stranges for other weapons, but I also don't see that happening either. I don't think that's something they would put in Halloween. If that was a thing, they'd probably add it to another separate update. I think Valve kind of likes to separate things and save things and kind of release them at the right time to kind of highlight them. Otherwise, they release a bunch of cool stuff at the same time, it kind of loses its power, if that makes sense. It loses its energy. So that's what I think is probably not going to come out in the Scream Fortress update. All right, gamers. Well, that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Hopefully you guys are hyped up and positive. Looking forward to the Scream Fortress update for whatever reason, however you like to play it and enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm sure I'll run into you guys soon. Uh, we'll see each other probably on a Maple Ridge or maybe a Dust Bowl or a Spooky Upward. Whatever we get, I'm going to be happy to play it. And uh, yeah, good luck to anyone unboxing. Keep a lookout for the next video and let's see how we did on these predictions because I think I'll be pretty close this year, but I'm really hoping I'm wrong on a couple items because that would be a great surprise. So take care. See you guys soon. Don't get too spooked. All right. Peace. I have Uber, not Crits.